Hello there. So I thought I'd do a tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro because I've gotten a few requests. So I'll just show you some basics, you know. Just start it up. Um, yeah, let's do new project. I actually filmed a gaming video recently. I'll use that as an example. Let's name it tutorial. There we go. You don't have to do anything here, just I always cancel this one. All right. Here we have it. And now let's find our videos. Uh, I have them here games, random stuff. All right, so here's my game. Just drop it in there, just drag it in. You can also uh, import like this, but I think it's easier to just drag them. So here's my audio file. Here's the video I'm gonna use as a face cam. Okay, so what you wanna start off by doing is right click on your game and then you would want to make a sequence. So, new sequence from clip, the gaming clip. There you go. Now you have a sequence, this is the sequence. And now drop in the audio. And then you drop in the... Oh, it's gonna overlap the audio. No problem, just drop the audio on the third one. There we go. Oh, that's a weird face, okay. <laughs> so first off, let's move the game a bit because I always have intros and I'm also going to match the audio with the video. So let's do that right now. Here it is, the high quality, my good microphone. <laughs> and uh, I uh, record my uh, audio with Audacity right here. Yep, see? Anyway, <laughs> now I'm gonna match the audio. So, press play and listen. Oh, hey there. <laughs> so, seems like... Oh, hey there. <laughs> yeah, seems like my quality audio comes first. So, zoom in by holding Alt and scrolling. And then, try to match it so you need to listen carefully oh hey there it's around here I just listen to the first sound I make also put up volume that helps okay and then click M for a marker there you go and then you mute the quality volume and then try to listen for the other because my GoPro recorded a, an audio file here too so I'm gonna listen to that one about there it seems like so you're gonna click C for a cut Razor tool, see? I'm gonna cut it right there. And then V for selection. And then I'm gonna delete it with R, but um, the default button is just delete. You can change it if you want. I changed it to R because it's closer but you can go to keyboard shortcuts and search for clear and yeah, change it because the default is delete. So just change it to R. Yep. All right, so now we just drag it to the marker. There, let's mute this. <laughs> Welcome back. Yep, sounds good. All right, now let's zoom out, Alt, Scroll out, and um, oh yeah, 
since I clear this, just drag the video back like that, and it'll be back. Okay. But now it's matched with the audio. So now what you can do is unlink the audio you had, the bad one, unlink, and you can just delete it, R. And now you can link the new audio, the good audio, link. There. Now that when you move it, they're going to move together. So it's going to make it easier. So yeah. You can also drag it one up. It's closer. There we go. Unmute it. Yep. There we go. It's probably good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make a face cam. So I have my face cams in the presets, but I'll show you later. Um, first, you want to go to video effects, um, transform, and crop. Put it on the video right here. Then you're going to crop the left, right. and just make overall the video just smaller in the motion. Smaller scale. Seems like we have to crop the top and bottom as well. Okay. Not too much though. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Don't cut off too much of my hair though. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now click on motion and then you can move it. So you can also make it a little smaller. So that's nice. Put it in the corner like that. Also, you need to remember not to place it like this, like you looking towards the side. It's not gonna make any sense because it's gonna seem like you're playing, but the game is like to your back. So it's just gonna be weird. So I never do that. Um, place it like this or if you want to place it on the other side you can flip your image and I'll show you how to do that so you could um, horizontal flip see it's flipped that's what I do sometimes because I like to change the spots there we go now it's flipped but I want for this I'm gonna keep it on the right side I think is, I mean, it's going to block the health, see? You need to think about that stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's not flip. You can just toggle it off and it won't work. And place it back. There you go. And now it's a face cam. Also, it's fun to make a circle. So what you want to do for that is click on this button, new item, when this thing in the project box new item and then transparent video it will show up right there and then we're gonna drop it in video 3 and extend it out as much as you can zoom out with alt scroll drag it over the whole however you want you can change it later and then what you do now is generate circle on the transparent video. Now you have a random circle in the middle of your game. <laughs> We're not there yet, but soon. So what you want to do now is find track mat key. It's right here in keying. There it is. Drop it on your face cam clip and then you click on uh, none and make it video three. So it will put it on transparent video and there you go. Now you can see my ear. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's make the circle bigger. Where is the circle? Oh yeah circle and now increase the radius 
There we go. It seems a little off, so we can move the circle as well. See? We move the circle. We can also make it even bigger. That's nice. Okay. But the cropping, we don't need that right now for the circle, so let's turn off the crop. There we go. Circle. Amazing. Um, I would suggest not going into the circle because, well, at least for me, it causes problems once I start editing because I'll show you. I'll edit. I'll cut out some stuff. You know, cut it out. And then somehow this happens. It just, it doesn't work anymore. I have no idea why I have to add more track mat keys to make it work. And eventually I'll just have millions of trap mat keys over here to make it work. So it's quite weird. So for the beginning, I'd suggest not start with that. If you really want to, you can deal with it, I guess. All right, now matching the game can be difficult if you have a headset. I don't, so it's kind of easier for me because my microphone picks up the game sound. Um, so that's how I match the game. So I listen to what my microphone picks up and this is where I put the marker um, where I heard the first sound from my microphone. So it was about here. Dragon. You just gotta listen carefully. And then we'll just listen to where the game clip makes the first sound and just match them. So all you have to do is listen to the sound. Might be difficult if you're playing a game without sound. <laughs> but yeah, you just listen to the sound, mute this, makes it easier. About here, please. To make it really good, go frame by frame. Just scroll frame by frame. Yep, there we go. That was the first frame with sound. So just cut it right there and move it up to the marker. And it will snap. And you can move this bit back. There we go. Should be pretty well matched now. Yep, you can just look. Oh, I muted, okay. Yep, there you go. If you don't like something, just control Z and it will return. Like all programs. <laughs> all right, now that we're done making this amazing gaming video, let's select the sequence. Right there, the icon of sequence, file, export media. Let's change the format to Blu-ray. And 720p preset, yes. And uh, yeah, you can check for, if you're making a circle, you can check for circle glitches. I'm telling you, don't mess with the circle if you're a beginner, cause that's just gonna, it's gonna be a struggle, cause I'm struggling with it every time because it's so glitchy, the track mat key thing. But yeah, so the work areas, everything, this is, Selecting so you can Change it how you want whatever you want to export up till here if you want and then just export And you'll have the work area see well, We have almost 20 minutes. No, my video is not gonna be that long, but yeah export There we go <laughs> All right, that's how you make a gaming video if you want to make some presets like I have a lot, so whatever motions you like, you just say preset and you'll have it there for next time you do it and you can just drag the preset to whatever clip you want to use it on and just, yeah, it's going to make it easier to find stuff. Yep. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something and uh, yeah. Leave a like and I will see you sometime.
with a game. Because this game, yes, it's coming up. So yeah, see you later.